Hello and welcome back to the Stanley and Jim Mark 4 project. Uh, this is part 7 now. Uh, in the previous uh, video I did, I managed to get the engine uh, running just a little bit better. Um, I thought this would be a great time to actually test the power output of the engine. So I put together a little dynamometer. I shall show that right now. So there's the engine all ready to go. You might notice there's a few little changes. Um, the first thing to notice is a, a mountain bike disc brake. Um, now attached to it. Uh, so this is here to measure torque. So this lever is one foot long. Um, the scale can be set to pounds. So what we're going to measure here is actually pounds feet. So I've got this. Uh, I've got this uh, gear change off a push bike. So this applies pressure to the disc brake. That applies pressure to the disc brake, so that locks up. So what we can do, we can actually brake the engine using this, and all that force is transmitted to our scales there, so we can measure pounds, feet. Right, what you can see here is a pickup sensor. So this picks up the magnet. Um, I suspect it's a little V switch inside. And there's a magnet there, passes it. You notice the light on the back of it is a bit brighter, which means it's being activated. This goes to our pickup here, a little control box. So as we spin the engine over, we've got revolutions per minute. This is, so this is uh, the two things required to work out the power output of the engine. Right, so there we go. So we're ready to give it a test go now. Um, what I'm hoping to do is get a base reading um, at pretty much as the engine was built. Um, and then, then every time I do a modification to the engine, um, we can check the power again and just see if we've improved things or, or made it worse. Right, I'll get it outside now and uh, we'll give it a go. Right, so it's all warming up. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to run it for an hour before we actually do the test just to make sure everything's warmed up um, and all the temperatures are normalised. Got to watch your fingers now. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> We're getting caught on the disc brake. Right, we just had a slight problem while testing. Um, our rubber seal was blown out. <laughs> we got a bit carried away and we had it running at about over 500 RPM, which is really, really quick. Uh, and it is gone pop. <laughs> so I think we're going to have to abandon this test for the day and uh, reevaluate what we're going to do and uh, and do something a bit different. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Right, so that's, uh, that's the day, unfortunately. Um, no power test today. Um, we're going to have to sort the seal out now, um, but we did manage to dry the engine about out a bit more because there's still a lot of water floating around inside from the um, uh, the concrete I used inside the engine. Um, and also we can now experiment with a, a better seal that's actually going to take the temperature as well. So, um, so until next time, ta-ta, bye-bye.